Hello, beautiful soul. Welcome back to your weekly angel message with me, Rachel Skulltalk, angel medium. I've got some beautiful cards for you today. We are working with the magic of the unicorns. Let's honor Diana Cooper and work with this beautiful deck. The cards are amazing and they fit really well for where we're at with this ascension, the energy shifts that we're making individually and together. And I've also got two cards for you right at the end. So here we are, 19th of February, all the way through until next Monday. Doesn't every week feel like so much is happening at the moment? It just feels like January took a year. Um, <laughs> as each week goes by, we're feeling that depth of energy and we're really feeling the changes now. Because we're coming to the end of this cycle, it's getting more and more intense and you're being sort of encouraged, cheered on. Imagine the angels with pom-poms and they're clapping, they're cheering, they're doing everything they can to get you on the path that is right for you right now. They're not judging you. They're not putting you down. They're not annoyed with you. They're not at all irritated that you perhaps haven't been hearing them because all along you've been walking with them by your side anyway and you're hearing them even when you think you aren't. But then more and more of their signs are getting through to you and you're starting to feel very strong callings in your heart. This isn't about the mind. You might be having random thoughts that drop in and ideas and just little things that move you in the right direction. But the overanalyzing, the overthinking, the worrying, that's, that's not where the angels are coming from. That's you beating yourself up. That's your ego or you're tapped into the collective ego, the, the fear mind, which to be honest, there's a lot of people panicking at the moment. There's a lot of people that are in their ego right now because they're sensing this big change. And as the structures, the corruption, the fear, the negativity is sort of melting away, that brings up fear for people. And people want to hold on to the old way of doing things. And it can bring up a lot of negativity, a lot of bad behavior. But that's not you because you're a light worker and you're on the right path and you're being watched over by your angels. So trust that it's all working out for you. So I asked the angels what guidance they have for you this week. And these are the three cards. You're going to love them. So this first one, look, when I read the cards and I teach this in my angel communication program, I'm not just reading the words. It, you know, when we're doing a general uh, reading like this for the, for, uh, the bigger, a bigger group, it, it's still the same. We're still reading the energy. We're listening to what the angel's saying. We're not just reading what the card says. And I teach that in my program. So this card is number three. Now, threes are really, really important right now. When you see something three or more times, that's a sign, right? You hear about something, you see it, you see um, you, a book jumps off the shelf. That's all a sign. When you're seeing it three or more times, you know the angels are trying to get your attention. And three is also an important number connecting with your soul, your spirit, and working with the higher golden light energy that's coming in right now. So in this card, it says, create your vision, do what makes your heart sing, you're being nudged forward. Remember what I just said before, that you're, you're being called to something greater, to something better, to something lighter. We all are. But if you're a light worker, then you're feeling called to help people to also listen to that calling in their heart and to heal themselves. So we've got a unicorn pegasus here. There's a rainbow and there's a golden pathway leading up to this sort of beautiful scene. Almost like leading you to another dimension. And the rainbow is, is like, a, like an orb of protection, really. So you're moving away from this sort of dry, cold there's a scene down here that looks very barren and you're coming to this more beautiful, abundant part of your life. We're all doing that together. And this is saying, right, the energy is working much more quickly right now. Have you noticed what you think about and speak about manifests much more quickly than it used to? You can't get away with things like the way we used to, thinking negatively for too long. And then all of a sudden you find yourself living it. So the angels here are saying to you, it's time for you to not just say, angels, please help me with this, this, and this, to visualize it, to create what do you want your best version of your life to look like? If you can manifest what you want, what you need this, like, this, this year, or even if you're thinking about, oh, I'm really stuck and I wish I could move away from this, 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 
start to visualize the, the healed outcome, the positive outcome, the abundant, the prosperous outcome. Instead of keeping yourself spinning and circling the drain hole, thinking about the worst case scenario or what went wrong in the past or what you don't like about right now, start to create something different. And that is building this golden stairway. Every thought that you put into your positive future, you're building another. It's like the angels take that thought and create another step that's going to lift you higher and away from the lack and the scarcity and the problems and the and into the more positive. Do you get that? I really, really love this for you. And you're not doing it by yourself. You might think you are, but those angels are there helping you because they're invested in you becoming more peaceful, happy, abundant, and joyful too. Dare to dream. Dare to dream. So that's what this week is all about. We've been sweet, consistently sweeping away the past, walking away from what doesn't serve us, letting go of all of those fears. Here we come into the second card, which is the guidance card. Now, the first card was a three. This is a four, interestingly. So whenever I see consecutive numbers, that's the angels telling us one step at a time. We're going in the right direction, right? Three, four, five. We're going upwards. And the message of this card, it shows a unicorn sitting with a with a soul. There's a, a beautiful doorway at the back with green light coming through. Archangel Raphael, the green emerald healing light of Raphael. It is so powerful. It's more powerful than any pain, illness, disease, negativity that you could ever come across. Anything that you, you think needs to be healed can be healed with the help of Archangel Raphael. So... It is now time for you to cut the cords to things in the past that drain you and bring you down, thoughts that make you feel bad about yourself, relationships that don't serve you, past and present. It's time for you to detach those cords. Now, don't you don't need to do that by yourself. Cord cutting is much more powerful when we work with the archangels because angels and archangels have the power of transmutation. That means that they can dissolve and, and remove that heavy, dark energy. Whereas us as humans, what we tend to do is when we encounter fear and dark energy, we kind of end up with it all over us. We kind of soak it up. And the angels don't want you to do that. They want you to cut your cords and they will take all the heavy, dark energy off of you. They'll take it out of your mind, out of your body, out of your energy, out of your finances, out of your health, out of your relationships, so that you can feel happy, light, free, and renewed again. And then you can easily let go and start thinking positively when those cords have gone, because they are draining the positive energy out of you. You know how sometimes we meet people that they love your energy so much that they're just like, oh, I want some of that. And it's like they stick a straw into your energy <laughs> and you just feel like a wet paper bag when maybe when you walk away from a conversation you're like oh god why am I so drained those are the relationships you need to cut the cords with now you might not have to say goodbye forever you might want to but whatever you decide to do it's going to be easier for you to heal that relationship set boundaries or walk away when the cords are broken so now write down a list Who's coming to your mind? What do you need to cut cords with? You know, sometimes even our closest loved ones can be a bit draining. We can be a bit draining. So it's okay to cut cords with your loved ones. It doesn't mean that you're releasing them forever and ever, amen. It just means you're cutting the negativity out of the relationship and you're no longer allowing yourself to be drained by whatever it was that happened or is happening. Cut the cords. Healing energy from Raphael can come in. Archangel Michael will transmute that dark energy away. He will use his sword to cut that cord. Ask him. I've got a beautiful meditation in my store that you can use to, um, to, to do cord cutting if you're not sure about doing it yourself. I'll come to my workshop this Friday, which is um, Thursday in the US, Friday in Australia. It is energy skills for empath, uh, for light workers. We're working with Archangel Michael to shield your energy, to cut the draining cords, to clear any toxins out of your energy. And I'm going to teach you some amazing, amazing little tips that you've never heard of before for your energy to stop you feeling so drained and impacted by all the density and negativity that people are releasing right now. You're going to feel amazing after this workshop. So I'll put the link in the comments or in the caption. This is going to get you to the rest of the week with a feeling of freedom and lightness. It's saying it's time for you to let go, 
And it's time for you to really forgive yourself. Who's the hardest person to forgive when we've gone through something hard? It's usually us, right? We forgive everyone else, sometimes begrudgingly, but it's it's usually ourselves that's the hardest one for us to forgive because we blame ourselves for being in the situation in the first place, for making the mistake, for agreeing to something we wish we hadn't agreed to but the angels are saying let that be a lesson that turns into wisdom for you and instead of holding yourself at emotional gunpoint you need to just take a big deep breath and let that go the angels love you you are loved you are lovable you are pure light and if you're dragging around big heavy chains of shame and guilt and fear and negativity and resentment you're just not living your best life and your angels aren't you're not allowing yourself to feel that love and how amazing and beautiful and powerful that you are. It's like you're living with a, with a fairy tale horror story in your mind and you're believing it. The angels don't want you to hold on to that stuff. It doesn't matter what you've done or haven't done or what you should have done or shouldn't have done. It doesn't matter. You're forgiven. It's time for you to forgive yourself. Promise? Tell me in the comments. Tell me. You don't have to tell me what. Just tell me that you're ready to forgive yourself. I'm ready. The angels will help you, I promise. This is the beginning of a new journey for you and you can't afford to be carrying that heaviness with you anymore. The blessings you've been asking for are on their way, but this is the final little bit, right? You've got to let that stuff go. All right, the outcome card this week. Oh, I love this so much. It's number 38. Now here we see this beautiful archway. What does an archway can like say to you? What does it symbolize? Here it says unicorn portal, um, focus your light and listen for a message. Now, do you know that you are light? That at a soul level, not even at a soul level, every level you are light. It's just, you can't see it with your human eyes. Your perspective is blurred. It's like you've got dirty sunglasses on and you can't quite see what the angels see in you. Now we live in a universe where the strongest energy that changes things isn't other people isn't the people in power isn't anything else it's your mental energy your mind is what focuses energy and you choose every single moment of every single day do i am i sending love or am i sending not love am i sending peace am i radiating joy and and healing or am i ra radiating something else so we've got these two energies that we're playing with all the time the angels are calling on for you right now to tap into the light within. Project it in the direction you want it to go. What do you want to see healed? What do you want to see as an outcome? What would you want to see for the world and other people and your loved ones? Start focusing your light because we all are together going through this portal right now. We, we're going, we're on the bridge, right? We're going through this time of immense change and we're with the angels that are coming in. You're wondering why so many people are talking about angels right now? why they're talking about spirituality, why we suddenly went from spirituality being a bit of a woo-woo weird thing that only a few people talked about to now there's people everywhere talking about it. It's because we're in this portal of light. We're in the middle of this big change of ascension and all of the angels have been coming in with other light beings to get us on our path and purpose individually, to help us shed all of that guilt and shame and negativity and to help lift the whole planet to this place where we have more of the light and less of the darkness. And yeah, that's hard right now, but we must keep going with it. And that includes us doing this individually. So what, what in your life needs the light? You don't only have to be working for everyone else, but if you think about it, when you are feeling more healed, fulfilled and abundant, you then feel like you've got an overflow of energy and then you're able to inspire and uplift other people. And that's part of what you're here to do. If you're here watching this on my channel, you are a light worker. You're a person who has a mission to share love and light with the world in whatever way suits you. You don't have to do what I'm doing. You might be, you might want to do what I'm doing. You can, but you might be doing it undercover or you might be doing it secretly or you might be doing it part-time or you might be doing it in some other way, it doesn't matter, as long as you're bringing the angels with you wherever you go, along with kindness and love, and you're not getting involved in pointless battles, and you're not you're not bringing people down, you're uplifting them, you're inspiring them, and you do make a difference, you do make a difference. So it's time for you to, 
to do this, to focus your light where it's needed. Remember last week, the angel said, look out for people that might need your light right now. They keep bringing that message through for you. So you can't ignore it. You're a light worker. And you're probably feeling that calling to do something, to change something, to um, maybe study a course or read a book or um, start your spiritual business or write a book. Whatever it is, listen, that's not your imagination. It's real. So there are messages and intuitive guidance coming through for you right now so make sure that you're taking time every day to sit with the angels take some deep breaths and ask to receive that message so 38.3 is all about right that golden light energy and working with the angels and the divine and your soul in alignment but it's also an eight which is about abundance all right now for the personal message Ooh, nearly showed you all right Ask a question of the angels. The question is important. If you forget the question, you won't understand the message. So angels, please help me. What guidance do you have for me about? And then put whatever it is you want to know about at the end. Okay. Do you want the purple card, multidimensional oracle, or the blue card, sort of like Archangel Michael? Let's start with the multidimensional oracle. This one is a Lakshmi. What a beautiful card for you if you chose this. The words on it are prosperity, career, life purpose, luck, and service. Now, Lakshmi is a goddess of abundance and prosperity. She knows that there is unlimited abundance. So stop limiting yourself with the idea that this is all there is and this is all there is. It's not true. You're limiting God. You're limiting the angels. There is unlimited abundance available to you that can come through unlimited possibilities and channels and if you just say well this is it and this is all I've got you're just closing down all of those channels the angels here are saying there are good things coming to you right now especially if you remember your purpose and come back to that being a light right she's shining light she's not just receiving she's also giving so remember the energy of the of exchange in the universe never fails what we give out, we always get back. When we give with love, it always comes back with love. So trust in that. There's the number 43, which added up is a seven. Keep going. You're on the right path. It may be time for you to make a change in your career um, or business where you're inviting and allowing another channel of abundance to come in. Increased abundance. If you chose the blue Archangel Michael card, <laughs> it's a similar message oddly i choose these randomly number 40 you're ready for more look at this enormous flower that looks very light i had some beautiful flowers delivered this week do you like my sunflowers i also had some pink flowers delivered and it looks very similar now it says your career is growing and blossoming now is the time to make changes you've been contemplating very similar message whatever this is about the angels are saying up your deservability. Stop thinking that you only deserve an egg cup full and open your arms to receive much, much more. You deserve more than you've been allowing yourself. You deserve better. You are ready for it. Stop playing small. Good stuff is coming your way. If you weren't worried about judgment and limitation, what would you ask for? What would you be doing differently? All right, I'm really excited for you this week. Seems to be a lot of abundance coming, a lot of light. So if you want to stay aligned with me and my messages, don't forget to follow and like and do all the other things. Come to my beautiful workshop I've got this week. It's on Zoom. You have unlimited access to the replay and audio and video format. We're going to do a guided soul healing journey with Archangel Michael to cut cords, to release lower energies, anything that's blocking you and dragging your energy down. And we're going to give you your personal shield from Archangel Michael. I'm gonna teach you some energetic skills that are real simple to understand and do, that are going to change the way you operate inside your energy. This is for anyone who's ready to go to the next level energetically with your work as a light worker, but also anyone who's sensitive, empathic, or has, you know, do you feel drained? Do you feel overwhelmed? Are you having trouble with your energy? If you want to learn some good energy protection skills, come and join me. Um, I wrote a whole book about energy protection. 
um, loving your sensitive self. I'll be teaching some of the stuff from in here as well. So it's a 90 minute class and I'd love you to join me. The link is available below or just DM me and I'll send you the link. All right, I'm sending you love. Have a beautiful week and thank you for all the beautiful blessings I got last week. I really appreciate you.